Hello everybody, welcome back to another retro recap. Uh, you can see we have a Halloween based game today because it's October, so I want to do some Halloween games. Um, this one we're gonna, this one's gonna be real quick, uh, not too much going on here. Just wanted to show one particular achievement uh, that you have to get at the end. It's probably the most difficult achievement in the game. Um, there's other achievements that I'll talk about more as this gameplay is playing, but um, just wanted to get in the game. The game is Halloween. It was developed back in 1983. For the Atari 2600 by Wizard Video. Uh, the game was made based on the 1978 horror film um, by John Carpenter, Halloween. So um, what you're going to do in this one is you're going to assume the role of a babysitter and your task is to protect children from getting killed by the infamous mass killer Mike Myers, Michael Myers. Um, the gameplay is pretty intense and pretty pretty graphic too um you know when you get killed by mike myers your head gets cut off and you know kills children in this one too so it's pretty graphic um for an atari 2600 game but overall the color is really good and i'm just going to go through and we're going to fire up this 20k run um what this is is basically my 20,000 run you get 20,000 points without a child dying and without you dying um once you get to 20,000 you'll see that the achievement will trigger and we'll get it but um i go a little bit further than that but we will go ahead and fire this up and i'll just go through it's pretty straightforward gameplay mechanics um you know you get the sound of the iconic halloween music playing every time mike myers comes on the screen you can see here each there's a whole bunch of different boards there's a top level and there's a bottom level um so one's supposed to be the upstairs one's supposed to be downstairs you can see here, I went all the way to the left. That is a safe room there, and that's where you want to take your children. You want to take the children over to those safe rooms, and you'll get about 675 points to start. The points will go up as Mike Myers levels up. Right now, he's moving very slow, so that's why you can dodge him very easily going up and down. Um, you can see here, I just run right by him. Real easy. Um, once he gets to about level three or four or five, uh, that's when he really starts to ramp up his speed and it will kill you very quickly if you don't if so you want to utilize what i'm doing here is i'm actually utilizing um the board and you can also split them like i did there so i'll get into that more in a bit um but here is another safe room is on the right side so you have a safe room on the left side you have a safe room on the right side the only way you can go up to the upper screen is if you go through that doorway like i just did so i saw the child up there you go up there you can see the lights are flickering there's two rooms um, on the upper level that the lights flicker so it's harder to see Mike Myers when he comes onto the screen and you just got to kind of be aware of that so right here I'm just going kind of back and forth I'm utilizing the side of the board to try to get Mike Myers behind me um, because every time it, you walk off the board it basically resets Mike Myers and if he's behind you um, then you can just run across to the other side of the screen here you can hear that noise of like repeated button presses when you go up to a child and you hit the button you basically grab onto them and they start to follow you um i found that sometimes they don't do that and they will just like sit there and you'll go and hit the button and they won't move um so usually i found if you just hold down the button and hold it down while you're moving at least you can get them to the side of the board and then walk off the side of the board and then come back on and then try to grab them again it's like a weird glitch or something in the game um, but there's a knife right there and you can grab that knife and you can stab Mike Myers if you want if you do that and you do it like twice uh, the he will automatically level up um, he levels up for every I think I believe four to five children you grab too so I just went for just all children on this run and I would just grab the children bring them to the safe rooms and the point scoring goes up as the levels increase on Mike Myers. So you'll see that like it'll start to ramp up a little bit later. Um, I found if you Mike Myers comes on the screen on one one side of the screen or the other, you want to either go to the top or the bottom. Obviously, I found if you stay all the way down to the bottom as far as you can go, like so you can only walk halfway through the bottom board. You can't go all the way down down to the bottom of the board. Um, but if you stay to that lower side, you want to stay away from that door. You can see him coming out of that door. He's going for the child there. I'm just getting off the screen because you're not going to have time to go grab the child um, before he kills it. And for this achievement, you have to not have the children die and you have to not die yourself. So here I'm just going back and forth utilizing manipulation to try to get him 
um, away from me or behind me. See, there I was like, okay, well, he's not gonna go on the other side, so I'm gonna just try to split him. So that's another option you have when he's going a little bit slower. I don't recommend doing that when he's going super fast because he will definitely kill the child before you have a chance to get to cross the other side of the board. But at the beginning, like there, I knew I could split him there, so I split him again. Uh, but you're just gonna utilize these techniques to get this done. A lot of times the kids will just appear in the board right next to you like that. Um, so that's really nice because you can just run in there and just kind of grab them. Um, I found that happening quite a bit um, on either side of the side, like the safe rooms. Um, occasionally, I think in this run, actually, it they get separated pretty far and I have to go to the upper part. You want to stay down on the lower level as much as possible because that doesn't have that flickering lights at all. There's no flickering lights on the lower level. So the more you can stay down here and utilize the light, to the best of your ability then then you want to do that but uh there you can see it's he's pretty easy to avoid for the most part as long as you stay low and just kind of go up at the last second um he will chop off your head though and blood will spew everywhere i might show that after um or at least you can see that in the end this run goes i think i got about fifty thousand on this run um I, I only got like the 25 i think with deathless but i ended up getting like fifty thousand on it and i'm sure you get a lot more if you're going for the high score. I just wanted to go for the achievement and get it done and get the mastery. So as far as other achievements go, there is one for a knife kill where you're gonna kill him. Um, you're gonna get the knife only. You're not gonna get any of the children, get you points. You're gonna have to get the knife. You're gonna have to kill him repeatedly over and over again. You'll see that he'll level up as you're doing that. Uh, but I think you've got to get about 2000 points for killing him. You don't get that many points for killing him. Um, you get way more for dropping off the children at the safe room so um you're just gonna have to kill them over and over again you can die in that achievement so that one's not too hard uh let me see what other achievements we got here i'm gonna look at the list um there's one where you gotta watch 10 kids fall victim to death so you're just basically gonna run around and um let him kill the children which is kind of morbid but um it's just one of those achievements i guess and uh there's not really anything else mostly they're score related which you'll easily get um there's one for avoiding mike myers for with the lights off for a minute uh real easy to do on level one um basically you just go to a, a room that's flickering there he almost killed the kid luckily i got off the screen that one was really close so he was appearing right by that child so that's the thing you can't have any kids die so when I went onto that screen and I saw that he was going for that child, I immediately got off the screen because I didn't want him to kill that kid. Um, because once that, they'll trigger that achievement and you're done. Uh, you are not triggered, but you you won't be able to get the achievement if he kills that kid. So there I was just like, that kid's way too close to the edge of the screen. So then I went and I went downstairs and that's actually a hallway that I utilize there. Um, there's hallways, those doors lead, basically hallways, you'll stay on the same level but you'll move down three or four boards. There's only, I think, what, like six boards on either, six total boards on either side, um, or on top and bottom. So I think one, yeah, I think there's six or so, but those hallways will get you, it's kind of like a little warp to get you to the other side of the, the house quicker, so. And here you're just gonna grab them and then when you're just gonna release the child's there and then you get the points. So here, I, I saw this kid and you can hear that clicking. I was holding him down because he wasn't like grabbing. Like I hit the button and he didn't grab. So I had to like hold that one down for some reason. Um, there I got real lucky again too because I just went over and I kind of grabbed him and like just took him all the way to the other side of the board and then went back and then again, manipulate the sides of the board. So Michael's always behind you and not in front of you and you should have no problem getting that achievement. So there I'm getting, I know I'm getting real close. I only have one more guy to get. And I'm just gonna cruise around and look for him again. Here he's not going too fast. It really starts to ramp up at a certain point where he becomes extremely fast. Uh, obviously the points go up, which is good. But so here I knew I had this kid. I, I didn't want to go by that door because I knew he was gonna pop out of that door. And here I'm just gonna manipulate the side of the board again. Keep doing that over and over again. As you see it appeared behind me. And you know this, I was kind of like, oh my God. Well, great, there's a door there. So I'm gonna keep trying to get, manipulate, hopefully waiting for him to appear. Saw that he appeared behind me. I was like, great, I can just run that board out. 
So I had to get this last kid. And there I knew he was gonna appear on the right side. So I just split it immediately because he'll always go for the child first. Um, but once you get 20,000 without dying and not killing any kids, there you got the achievement. It only took me an hour and a half to get this one. It was not too bad. Um, real fun game actually. Like good music, good colors. Like gameplay is pretty solid and everything. Um, here, I'm just gonna let it kind of like run out. You can see me, I'm just like, oh, well, I'll just go for a little bit of higher score, see what I can get here. Uh, I'm sure there's people that can get way, way higher scores than I did, but I think I let, I think he kills me or the child here soon. We'll see. Um, but you get, you guys can see the death graphic. It's, it's pretty morbid. It's like your head gets chopped off, you're the babysitter, and you're running around, your body's just like got no head on it, and there's just blood spewing out of it for an Atari 2600 game. That's pretty crazy. Um, but good movie though, too. And you know, Jamie Lee Curtis, I believe, was in this one. Yeah. And uh, a little movie to watch and, and check out if you haven't seen this movie before. I'm sure most of you have or seen the masks online of people walking around with the masks. See if I actually die here soon. I don't know if I maybe got to like 30,000 before I died. I don't know what the point level is here. I'm gonna grab this. Maybe I die right here. <clears throat> yeah, see there, I get my head chopped off. Also killed the kid right in front of me. So double whammy there for Mike Myers. Uh, but I'm just gonna let this go ahead and play out and I hope you enjoy the gameplay and I appreciate you watching. I just wanted to show you some of the tips and tricks and show you the overall gameplay. A little fun game, fun mastery. Shouldn't take you long at all, you know, uh, hour and a half maybe at the most. But hope you enjoy it. And I will see you in the next guide. Take care.
Thank you.